Hello, I'm Cody Whipple with the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, and today I'm joined by a very special guest, Ben Page. Ben is the Lake Habitat Section Chief, and he's going to introduce to you some of the habitat structures that they utilize throughout all of the habitat projects that they conduct throughout the state of Pennsylvania. So Ben, if you were going to target some warm water species such as panfish or bass, what are some structures that you would consider using? Yeah, so we'll start with the porcupine crib. This is probably one of our most popular structures over the years. Back in 1988, we started to build these and place them in uh, different reservoirs across the state. Uh, this is traditionally a, a coarse brush structure. Uh, rather than using brush off of a tree, these are typically two by twos. Uh, this model here that we have in front of us is a quarter of the size of uh, a real life structure that usually has the concrete blocks in the bottom, stands about four feet tall by four feet wide. And as you can imagine, once you place this in the bottom of a reservoir, uh, it gives a lot of cover specifically to panfish. Not only panfish, but sometimes we'll see bass and even muskies outside of these types of structures. And so what that provides is a lot of woody cover for all those panfish, but then also uh, woody type material for paraphyton and for macroinvertebrates as well. So in addition to porcupine cribs, we typically put these in deeper water, that's deeper than 10 feet. Uh, in some reservoirs in Pennsylvania, because they're flood control, uh, we'll do uh, drawdowns. And the man managing agency may need to do a drawdown. In that case, we'll put in what we call an SVP, or a short vertical plank structure. And this allows us to put a structure in that's a little bit more durable. We've seen these structures with ice on top of them. Uh, you know, very durable even to wave action, uh, but also utilized by panfish and bass. In some cases, you'll see us use uh, recycled conifer trees, and we'll put those in the open cells. Uh, we have video on YouTube and our Fish and Boat Commission website. It's called uh, Habitat at Beltsville Lake, and it gives you a, an underwater look at what these look like, these short vertical plank st structures, what they look like underwater. And you'll see crappie, you'll see bluegill, you'll see smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, all utilizing these structures in Beltsville Lake. That's awesome, Ben, thank you. So what are some of the reasons why these different fish would utilize these structures? Mm -hmm. A lot of times in our reservoirs in Pennsylvania, we don't have a lot of woody structure. Most of our reservoirs in Pennsylvania look like that. It's usually a mud, a flat mud bottom, uh, very little structure. And so that's why we do, you know, the crib projects and other structure types like we do. Sometimes you may see us utilize felled shoreline trees where we'll cut with a chainsaw and cable those off. And a lot of times our bass and panfish will seek out some sort of cover, whether that's to use it for ambush, uh, ambush cover for prey, or just locating, you know, macroinvertebrates or bait fish that utilize those types of structures for cover. That's awesome. Thank you very much, Ben. And always remember that throughout Pennsylvania, good fishing needs good habitat.